Here we have the present day workhorses of air forces around the world. The venerable P-51 and the Falkland 190. They have been serving their respective countries admirably for the past six years. But now there's a new game in town. The Russian MiG-15 seen here. And here is the United States built F-86. No propellers on these aircraft anymore. They feature the latest in jet engine technology, soaring to speeds and heights only dreamt of a few years ago. Here comes the MiG-15 showing off that speed. Boy, oh boy, look at her go. These aircraft pack quite the punch too. Looks like this unfortunate airplane strayed a little too close to this MiG-15. And watch here as an F-86 makes quick work of this patrol boat. The future of aviation technology is here today. That was 60 years ago. My, how things have changed. The capabilities of aircraft today are leaps and bounds beyond what even the most imaginative minds could have come up with then. As a people, we have become incredibly efficient at killing each other. And these machines are testament to that. Five years ago, our country of Matova was invaded by our neighbors, Oberston. The world powers who supplied our two nations with fighting machines ceased to send any more. They feared that their involvement would pull the world into another world war. As the years of combat dragged on, both sides started to show the strain of it. Our surplus of vehicles and aircraft began to dwindle. Neither country had ever built their own tanks or planes, so anything that was lost was not replaced. This is where my story in the war begins. As the owner of one of those old aircraft, I felt I could do something to help my country. No longer would this relic of mine sit in the shadows of a museum. The time has come to revive the old in hopes that it will save tomorrow. Work, guys. 